that's a great question. So the ROI is the return on investment. So it's not cheap to work with Tay and Val, and it's not cheap to work with me, frankly. So it's always, I think, in the customer's best interest to ask, what's the return on the investment if I'm going to take part in this process? And so I did ask that, and I got a pretty good step-by-step -step explanation of the process. And I would say there was a certain level of you don't know what you don't know until you go through it. So, and that's true with my customers, my clients, is that, hey, I can tell you and give you examples of ROI, and that's what they did. Here are some examples of what other people have said. This is an example of what's been done. And so those stories were really, really helpful. And yet you, can't, you don't know what you don't know until you actually go through it. So I would say my ROI, my, my return on my investment was definitely worth it, was probably, I, how can you put a price tag on spiritual growth? It's pretty tough. And yet um, I can say that I definitely am clearer about the path that I'm on in relationship to my spiritual life. I'm definitely clear about the type of work that doesn't serve me anymore and so I can get rid of the waste. Um, I'm definitely clear on the primary paths that I do want to grow and develop in my business. And I'm also clear on the person I want to be spiritually, yet I'm still working on being. So I, I do believe that um, if I were to compare it to what I charge my customers for the type of work, envisioning work on their business uh, versus what I paid for mine, I would say it's uh, a really great deal. <laughs>